Hi guys, it's Chris from DAXtrader.co.uk and this is going to be a strategy video for using the RSI Expert Advisor. I'm going to look at a couple of different strategies today. I'm going to use various moving average strategies and different um, RSI settings based on that. We're going to look at the trend arrow indicator that's available on the website. And we're also going to talk about changing the number of periods that we use on our RSIs. What you're going to need if you want to follow the video is a working MetaTrader 4 platform installed with auto trading enabled and a trading account set up. There's a video tutorial in the description if you need to help with that. You'll need an RSI indicator, any kind really, or specifically my RSI and alert indicator that's available on the website if you want to, to use that one. You'll of course need the expert advisor itself which you can purchase from the website and uh, the trend arrow indicator which is freely available on the website. The template files are available on the website but they're not essential for this you can use your own template of course if you wish. Okay so let's get started now before we do that just to explain the usual trading disclaimer that uh, trading financial markets is risky uh, involves the risk of losing all of our invested money. Um, I'm not providing any financial advice here. Uh, I'm not recommend making any recommendations. But if you do download the expert advisor, uh, please use it at your own risk. Okay, so we've got a basic MetaTrader platform set up here. Simple demo account, ten thousand pounds installed. Um, we've got the navigator window, the terminal window, and the market watch window. If you need those windows you can just click on view and they're here okay so we're going to add a couple of charts in then let's just uh, drop a euro usd chart in let's drop a dax chart in let's drop a cable chart in and a i don't know an s p 500 chart okay it's a four to work with i'm going to press alt and r just to organize them a bit better and i'm going to change the template so right click template I'm going to use my FXCM template, which is one of the ones that are freely available on the website. So check the description out if you want to download that. And there's some installation instructions in there as well. Okay, so just to tidy it up, I'm going to keep it on an hour time frame for the moment. Okay, just catch that one up. Hour time frame. And what I want to do is I want to find out what sort of trend we're in. Now, you can really quite clearly see it at times what uh, trend you're looking at. So, for example, with the cable, certainly short term, we're bullish. Um, S&P 500 is turning bullish. DAX has been bearish. Um, the cable has kind of been going sideways but looks bullish. But what we would do is we would apply a simple moving average to just give us a quick help if you know if you you just want a very fast glance rather than having to just analyze it yourself manually. So insert, indicator, trend, moving average. And uh, I'm gonna use a 34 period exponential moving average. Um, why am I doing that? Really because it's a Fibonacci number 34 um, and 34 hours tends to provide a fairly decent um, guide of trend. I use exponential moving average just simply because I prefer to have it give more weighting to the more recent candles, which is pretty much what the difference is between that and a simple one. And colours and everything else is up to you. Um, I'll apply that to the close, press OK, and there you have it. So it's been bearish, starting to turn bullish. Do the same sort of thing on these other four charts. Easiest way to do that is to right click, template, save the template as something and then apply the template to the others by what we've just done with the FXCM. Okay, so that's one thing you can do. But just for the purpose of this, I'll just do it again. So insert indicators, trend, moving average, should have saved the details it has, press OK. The more times you do this, the more it will remember what you do and it will just appear up here. So insert indicators, moving average, and then you can just get it on. There's probably a quicker way of doing it than that. So there you have it. So we've got the moving average indicator included. Now we just need to work out the trend because what we're going to do is we're going to change our RSI settings on our expert advisor to give us trades that would favor uh, either buying or selling if we're in bearish or bullish markets or vice versa, I should have said. Uh, or if we're in neutral markets, we're quite happy for it to just provide us with ranging trades. So, you know, in a neutral market, if you go overbought, 
chances are it's going to come back again so you'd sell and in a range of range of market if you're oversold chances are it's going to turn around and come back again so you can buy so you can do both in a ranging market but in a bullish market you'd really only want to be buying and so you're going to follow the trend um, and bearish market you only want to be selling so you're going to follow the trend so it's going to be more heavily weighted to providing you with the trades of that trend hopefully that made sense so what we do now is we're going to add the expert advisor in. So there's a couple of things you need to do to get it set up. So to make sure you're all set up and ready for uh, automated trading, just check out the installation video that's in the, the description below. This is going to assume you already know how to do it. So I'm going to apply the expert advisor, just click in the drag. And uh, I'm going to set this one to, let's just check what the market was again. So this, let's just assume this is a neutral market. Okay. Going to click and drag neutral market 70 and 30 is a neutral setup they're sort of equally distant from the 50 line 20 either way but i'm going to choose say i don't know just for the purpose of the video 60 and 40. i'd never trade with this normally 75 25 is the minimum i'd go for um, even higher than that 80 20 probably 85 15 even because i don't want it to trade lots but i just want it to provide higher probability trades okay so 14 period is pretty standard, going to keep that. Now, with FXCM, the smallest lot size that I can use would be 1 on an indice. On Forex, it's 0 0.01, so 100 times less. But with commodities and indices, it's 1. So make sure you get that the right way around. If you enter a trade 100 times bigger than you should, you can get yourself in quite a lot of trouble very quickly. And with indices... I believe, and I need to just double check this, but one point would be a hundred on this. So if I wanted to have a take profit target of 10 points, it's going to be a thousand that I'd have to put into this. And the stop loss, let's just do it the same thing. Okay, number of trades, just going to minimize that. Occasionally it does open an extra trade based on what you've said here. So you just need to be aware of that. If you want to maintain good, solid risk management, don't set a particularly high number there. Okay, um, I might actually just make that a little bit bigger. £10,000 account, a size of one is going to be pennies. So let's have a look. We're going to add that in. So that's on the inputs tab. I'm just going to check the common tab to see if they're all the boxes are ticked. So we want both of those ticked. We want that one ticked. And we want that one ticked. Okay. Haven't got a smiley face here, so chances are you haven't. I haven't got the auto trading button enabled. There's two ways you can find that. Right here, you can click that, and it will automatically do it for you. Or if you don't have that button, you can go to Tools, Options, under the Expert Advisor tab, click this one, and make sure these two are ticked as well. Okay. Happy smiley face. Everything's good. So we're just going to drop that in uh, to the other ones quickly. So uh, on the German. DAX, let's assume we are, let's assume we're bearish. So we're really looking to sell. Completely goes against what I personally believe in. I never sell stock markets, but it's just for the purpose of the video. Uh, so the boxes are ticked on the input screen. I'm going to change my RSI settings. So in a bearish market, rather than 70 30, I'm going to skew it. So it's not equally distant from the 50 line. And I'm going to skew it. So let's just say we skewed it further towards. Um, this way. So I'm less likely to want to buy, more likely to want to sell. So I'm quite happy if we get a little pullback that an overbought level would be lower than 70. And then when it comes in and crosses through, it will open up a trade because it's likely going to sell, you know, likely going to head further down. So you can be more lenient with this. What I tend to provide is something more like this, so 60 and 10. Um, so I really don't want to buy at all, and I'll only buy if it's ridiculously oversold. But more often than not, you get uh, you get opening, you get sales opening on the trading. Okay, quickly just do this. So this is DAX, so it's an indice. So I'm going to just do the same thing as I did with the S&P. Um, similar thing. So one point is 100. So let's go for. 20 points and just keep that to a minimum Ooh. okay 
happy smiley face. I'm just going to go back to this S&P one just to make sure I did change that. I did. Okay, pressed F7 to bring up that box again. Okay, let's do this now for the two Forex pairs. So this one's bullish. So if it's bullish, I'm looking for the overbought section to be pretty high because I'm not really interested in selling. So if it gets up to 85, which is crazily overbought, I'm not interested in selling. But if it goes above 90, then you know something really crazy has happened and there's an opportunity to sell. So you would sell. But I'll be more lenient on my oversold levels and I'll bring that to 40 instead of 30. Okay, on Forex, the minimum lot size is 0.01. So I'll just times up by 10. And uh, take profit targets are as they are. So if you want a 20 point target, put in 20. Stop loss, 20. Now you may want to have decent, you know, better uh, reward to risk ratios than one to one. I don't normally recommend doing that. But um, you know, go for two, two and a half, three to one and you just change your figures. Yeah, I'm sure you know how to do that. Just make sure on the common tab everything's ticked. It is. There we go. So that is now going to be entered into some bullish trades. Got the smiley face. I'm just going to do the same for the final one. So let's just say this is neutral. All the boxes are ticked. So neutral. Let's just go with, yeah, 70, 30. Fine. Let's just go with that. 20 points. Just a single market. Change that. And there we go. Final thing I'll do, just for the purpose of the video, is just to speed that up by changing the time frame to one minute, just to see if it opens up some trades for us. It will change the indicator, of course, because that's now a 34 period, one minute uh, moving average, not a 34 hour moving average anymore. But we've done the work already. We've worked out the trend on the previous screen. Okay, so we now wait and see what happens, see if any trades open. Okay, so the one thing I guess you don't see using just the R, uh, the expert advisor on its own is you don't get to see the heads-up display of the RSI to see roughly what's going on and whether a trade's likely to happen soon. So if you want to check it, feel free. Just go and add an RSI indicator that uses the settings that you've just put into your expert advisor, and it will show you. So on the DAX, for example, I think we entered a bearish template. At, uh, well, let's press F7 and look. 60 and 10 so let's add an rsi onto that just a simple one so insert indicators oscillators uh so at the top relative strength index 60 and 10 did we say i think we did so let's add that and that shows you where we are so not likely to get a signal anytime in the next couple of minutes or so Cable seems to be rallying at the moment. So that's just uh, probably some news release that I've just missed that's just come out. And both the DAX and the S&P are plummeting at the moment. So let's just go and quickly check what we did for this one. So 6040, so a neutral one on the S&P. Uh, oscillators, relative strength index, 6040, I think we said. Okay, so we are oversold. So as soon as that crosses back through this 40 line, we will get a trade activated to go, excuse me, to go long. Okay, what do we do on the cable? We did a uh, 90, 40. So let's just go and add that. Relative strength index, 90, 40, I think we said. Here we go, so it's still within normal levels, nothing really likely to happen just yet. And for the Euro USD F7, we did 7030. So let's go and add that in. And there you go. So it's just about to creep over. In fact, a few minutes ago, had we have already included it, we would have actually had a sell trade, but um, we hadn't got it entered by uh, by the time it was ready to do that, so we missed it. So that is it. Once you've got your settings in and once the, everything's activated, just leave it. I mean, in an ideal world, what you'd be doing is you'd be setting yourself up some kind of server, I guess, where you could just have this running automatically or leave your computer on running all day if that's what you want to do. And it will just open and close trades based on your settings. 
be wary though. I mean, leaving an expert advisor to just go and trade automatically on your account, it can be brilliant. You could make a lot of money, but at the same time, if the settings are not quite right and it's just going off and doing its own thing and you've done something wrong, you can very quickly clear an account out. So you've got to be really careful. Um, so test it on a demo account until you're happy with the settings. I would say, well, I mean, that's not even that's not even a suggestion. That's just just make sure you do do that uh, because if you do get something wrong. I don't want any knocks at my door. Okay. So at the moment, it looks like we're just about to come above the 70 line on the uh, Euro USD. So as soon as we get that candle closing, that should arm the expert advisor. Uh, cable has really rocketed. It's 85 nearly on the RSI. Um, so I wouldn't have expected it to get up to 90. But if it does, it's actually going to provide us with a sell trade when we wanted buy trades. Uh, but it's as you can see, it's only in exceptional circumstances when you'd get that. And, you know, we're looking at one minute data. So we'll accept that. It's not uh, not the normal. OK, the S&P. It's armed, but we're waiting for it to close above 40 for it to go into a buy trade. This one definitely looks like it's armed. I think we've had a new candle there. Okay, and this might take a minute or two. So that shows you how to use your moving averages. So really the idea is you'd go for um, a one hour chart. You go for, you go for a one hour chart. You go for moving averages, 34 period exponential moving average. You choose as many charts as you like. You need to choose your settings, of course, on your expert advisor relevant to the whether you're doing an indice or commodity or forex. You'll get the hang of that pretty easily. Um, I just changed my times to um, a one minute chart. But once you've done that, you'll need to include if you want to keep up, you know, keep a check on what's going on, include the RSI indicator. with the same settings. So there you have it. So one hour chart, 34 period moving average, put it on as many charts as you like, um, gauge the trend, so work out what it is, set the RSI levels on your expert advisor related to whether it's bullish, bearish or neutral. And uh, to keep an, a lid on things, or to keep an eye on things, include an RSI indicator with the same settings. Okay. And there you have it. So um, I'm hoping before the video finishes, we're going to have a trade activated just to show you that it, it does all work. The, the Euro USD on the bottom right looks like it's trying to come through. The 70, so let's see if this works. So as soon as that candle closes, there you go, right on time. So as soon as that candle closes, the trade will activate because it's gone above the 70 line and then it's closed below and that's where the trade opens. So the trade is now live, it's active. You can see down there it's ticking away. Um, it might win, it might lose, who knows, nothing's guaranteed. But it's, it's out there and you can close the trade one of two ways. It's either going to hit its levels, stop loss levels, or it's take profit levels, which you've set in your settings. Uh, we did a 20 point or 20 pip move either way. So you can see that uh, not much has been taken off from the spreads there. And um, Or you can close it manually. You can either right click and close it. Or you can click on the X on the right hand side once you've enabled one click trading, which a couple of boxes you have to say yes to. And that's pretty much it. So just for the next video, I'm just going to shut this trade out. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Um, if you haven't activated one-click trading, you'll get this box. Feel free to read that. Uh, I accept. Press OK. And then you'll just need to re-press the button when you want to close that trade out. So I hope that's explained it for you guys. Uh, thanks very much for watching the video. Best of luck with the, um, indic or with the expert advisor. And I'm going to set up another video now, which will talk uh, part two 
about the trend arrow indicator. See you in a minute.